Hey guys, back with another video. Enough said. Today we got a video from my guy, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Can you do the eyebrow nope, thing? Nope, can't do it. Don't even try. Stop. Don't even try. I was going to try it. Nope. Even okay. your little hat. Your hat's cute, by the way. Thank you. I like your little hat. Thank you. But here we go. He is bringing up, talking about his, his father here, and he brought up mm. a really good point while he was talking about his father. The man who raised me, who was my dad, was my dad, Rocky Johnson. Right. His dad died when he was 13. The holidays that came up after his dad's death. A new boyfriend was in the picture. Boyfriend gets drunk, pisses on the turkey. My dad's 13. He grabbed a shovel, a big shovel. My dad did. And drew a line in the dirt and said, if you cross that line, I'm going to kill you. The drunk crossed the line. He knocked him out. Cold as a block of ice. Your dad knocked him out. My dad knocked him out with a shovel and tried to kill him. The cops come, and the cops say, well, he's still unconscious, but he's not dead. When he wakes up, one of two things is going to happen. He's going to kill your son, or your son is going to kill him. So the cop's recommendation to my dad's mom was, one of them has to go. She looked at her son, my dad, his name was Wade, and said, you have to go. So 13, he's out on the streets. The reason why I tell you that story is that's my dad's capacity for love. 13, you're gone. So that's the man that raised me. So that's the stiff upper lip. Come on, work through it. You'll be good. Wow, a shovel. We got one in the garage. Don't think about it. Mm -mm. Don't do it. Don't pee on the turkey. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be all right. But you know, the the Rock made a really good point. He said, 13, that was my dad's capacity for love. Mm. And that went over so many, probably went over so many people's heads. But what he's saying is, oh my is my. that his father only had the capacity of a 13-year-old boy to show love to him. Think about that. That's deep. That's deep. And when I heard that, I thought about there's so many people out here, uh, fathers and mothers, that only have, we, every human being only has a certain capacity. And your capacity is limit, limited to your life experiences, is limited to your socioeconomic status. There's, there's limitations on life. Trauma. Like, yeah, like, like a house. Like this house where it has a certain amount of square feet, right? Right. And that's it. It don't matter how many chairs or how we re reconfigure it and all things like that. It only has a certain amount of square feet. So and true. in order for us to get more square feet, we got to do what? Renovate. Expand. We got to renovate it. Mm -hmm. And renovations are ugly, nasty, and, and they cost. Mm -hmm. Think about that in an emotional realm. Ooh. If you, you cooking. have been through trauma in your childhood and mm. you have, your capacity was cut off at a certain point. My goodness. And you got to do the work to know where you're at. Mm. Most people don't do that. Nope. Because they're like, oh, they wonder why I, I have find it hard to tell my kids I love them. Mm. I find it hard with my to be affectionate with my spouse. Or I find it hard to express myself properly without getting angry. Or, to have, because or you're, why I don't have any friends. Yes, or... yes, because you have reached your capacity. Because your capacity won't let you go past that. So you gotta do the work, i.e. the renovation, to get to where you can expand more. My and it goodness. only happens through reading, therapy, talking to people. Just ask somebody. Prayer, Man, look, fasting. All these things that come. Yes. That. All the things that come into it. Literally just ask somebody one day, hey, what do you think of me? Honestly. Mm. What do you think of me? What are some things I need to work on? People don't want to do that because it hurts. Like, renovations are ugly. They're yeah, nasty. They are. Like, we watch HGTV because we old. And you'll see, like, this house that looks like Boo boo on the stick, right? And they'll come in there and they'll knock down walls and mm -hmm. they'll find dead rats and it's nasty. It's a nasty process yeah, to plumbing. renovate a house. They find Crack bad plumbing, foundation. all kind of problems in this mm -hmm. house. But at the end of it is this beautiful home that they put together and they put a yeah. lot of money. Sometimes they go over budget, sometimes yeah. they don't have a bunch to do. So it's the same thing in the emotional realm. You gotta do all of those things. You gotta go in and knock those walls down and, and, and build a new foundation and fix the cracks and all the things that come along with it. And most people don't want to, know how to, mm -hmm. or have the capacity to do that. Because mm -hmm. it's hard. It's hard work. Which is why you have people on social media saying and behaving certain ways. Um, or why you have people that, that blame others and always play the victim. Um, that's why you have certain people that exhibit certain behaviors. Because again, like you said, to do that renovation work is a lot of hard grueling work and that process can take forever um being a person who is a renovated individual um looking from where i come from versus who i am today all glory be to god but also he had me do some serious work some serious introspection some serious discussions some serious um therapeutic situations where i'm able to talk through certain things 
Um, and it was me owning a lot of stuff yes. and not not hanging on to this narrative of, you know, I was done wrong as a kid and, you know, I ain't get showed love like I needed to. And so this is how it is. No, it was up to me. Yeah, yeah I didn't want to be a victim. I yeah. wanted to be victorious over it so that I wouldn't scar my kids and okay. I wouldn't abuse this man. So I did the work so that I could be free. Mm -hmm. And I'm so grateful that I did. But it takes a lot of work. And, and the people, work continues. People want to people want to prefab. And, you know, I, I just want to be fat. I ain't trying to do all that. I just want to take a pill or something. I just want to do something real quick mm -hmm. and kind of get over it. And that's just not how life works. No, and you, you don't. You don't get to your full self like that. You don't uh -uh. get to your. In the, um, in the words of the cell, in your final form, Dragon Ball Z. Oh, form. hello. Yeah, Dragon you know, Ball Z came in here. How you doing? You don't reach your final form that way. Final you don't, form? You don't, you don't reach that. I mean, if you if you give up and if you just settle for what you what was there, you're never going to reach the pinnacle yeah. of what you could be. And everyone around you is going to suffer because you're a lesser version of what you should be. And so, like she said, as a renovated person and still doing the work every day, it took. It takes a lot. It takes a lot when you come from a certain environment to think to to change the way you think. You know, uh, one area in particular that we we have always struggled with in our marriage in the area of finances because we didn't grow up with anything. Yeah. And so when we got a little something, we 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 either messed it up, squandered it, didn't know mishandled it. Mm -hmm. We had to do so much work. Oh my goodness. And so much you know <laughs> learning and relearning how money really works and how to use it, how yeah. to save it. Yeah. You know yeah. how how and when you know how how to shopping in bulk, all these things we had to learn just to get to to break that curse of poverty that was over us to yeah. break to break that cycle because we didn't know and a lot of people didn't grow up with a father they didn't grow up with a very good mother or some things like that and there's a lot of things that you're doing that you don't realize why you're doing it mm -hmm. but you have to identify those things so you can work on them if you can't identify it how can you ever know it's a problem and can you imagine that gaping wound that's in your heart that never really goes away when yeah. your mom chooses you know, a, a man over you. Yeah, and that, and that happens or way more than we like to admit. Lot. Way more than we like to admit, and uh, because it because it doesn't paint mom in a very good light, so people tend to ignore that. But it happens a lot. Yeah. And like you said, thirteen years old, that man probably went through stuff we can't imagine. You imagine being a thirteen year old boy out in the streets or, or jumping from house to house. You know, whatever the story is behind it. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, your son becomes a phenom. You know, <laughs> Dwayne. Dwayne and Rock Jones have the money that we all can spend. And the, the thing about it is his dad probably had to do a lot of renovating just mm -hmm. to get to the point where he can even raise a son worth anything. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's a testament to his father. I know his father's passed on. It's a testament to his father. He probably wasn't the perfect father. I'm sure he wasn't. There's no such thing. Right. But I bet that man loved his son. He did the best he could by him. Yeah. And sometimes that's all you can offer. Yeah. It's the best you can. So... We want to encourage anyone that, you know, you, you may have had, you know, a rough upbringing or a, a tough situation, even a traumatic event that may have happened in your life. Please don't let that event or your upbringing define who you are. Um, there are free resources. You're looking at one now. YouTube is a great one. Mm -hmm. um, there are resources that you can get books. Um, if you can't afford a therapist or you don't really have that uh, benefit for your job, there's other ways that you can educate yourself and grow past where you are. So don't settle for well, you know, life has been tough and I financially can't do anything about it. If you're watching us right now, you're able to do something about it. So have that mindset, grow past where you are, choose you, choose a better version of yourself, not only for you, but for everyone around you. Amen to that. And with that, that's, that's enough, enough said. said.